Are we on? We are on. We're alive from Port Charlotte? Where the heck is that? That's out there in Never Never Land. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's a pleasure always to uh, spend time with you and to go over your uh, cases and things with you. And that's this is more what we're going to do, I think, today is question and answers. But case study, there's a case study, a lady that's on the fan plates, I think, that needs some help here. I'm not going to mention any names, uh, but... Um, I'm going to I'll highlight her case here, but I wanted to show you, isn't this beautiful? I love dream catchers. But this is a card. Is that cool? Thanks, my friend. Really cool stuff. This guy works for uh, this company, but I thought that was real cool. Love it! How'd you know that, is, that, that must, you know, how'd you know? How'd you know? You must have seen me. A little sneaker. All right, so uh, let's let's look at this case here. Uh, let me see here. It says, Robert, please address this case on YouTube. She is on your fan page. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Please note. All right. Let's. Uh, this individual is 23 years old. Uh, obviously a female. Uh, of the symptoms question. All right, one and a half years, bedridden, completely drained, exhausted, must sit in one position at all times. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. You know, sometimes we get ourselves so far out there in acidosis, and then at our sewer system. And we, did, I just did this one on ALS, and our sewer systems get so backed up that we literally become our adrenals are failed. We have no, no neurological energy. We have fungus building up in the body like crazy from incomplete metabolism of, of sugars. We have, of course, our terrain gets back. The sewer system gets backed up, so bacterium comes in. I mean, we just waste away. And we can get to where things are positional, where if you lay on one side, things start to go crazy. You know, more people die from heart attacks sleeping on their left side. It's a fact. And so, um, this is a tough situation. Severely toxic, I believe that. Uh, when, you, when you're positional to where if you move just a little bit and uh, out of a position and you start to feel something, that's uh, because, remember, the more acidic, the more swelling. The more swelling, the more you uh, affect nerve flow and blood flow. And so, this, this lymph system affects everything, literally everything. She's uh, severely toxic and acidic in my whole life, more on left side. So you know why on more one side than the other, right? We know that each kidney drains each side lymphatically. So when one kidney, generally one kidney is always genetically weaker than another, for one reason or another. And so generally we see more problems one-sided than we do the other. Eventually, though, we lose both sides in terms of filtration. Unable to lay down due to severe neck shoulder pain. Wow. Swollen, inflamed, and tight in that area. So what creates swelling and tightness in the body? Is that a blood problem? No, it's a lymphatic problem. So she was very right. She said, I'm severely toxic and acidic. She was right on. She knows exactly her problem. How do you get rid of that, though? There's one word and one word only. Detoxification. I could add a... First word on front of that called proper detoxification. A lot of people use that word out there. It's like a lot of people use the word naturopathic out there. Sad, because they're, they're an insult to the word. Uh, high blood pressure for years. So immediately you know you have high blood pressure. Now we know there's two types of high blood pressure, right? There's the swinging, high one minute, low the next. Remember, that's the cerebellum. That's, that's when the lymph backs up. We use the word inflammation, okay? That's when it backs up here, and that is uh, your equilibrium dizzy center. But that creates a swinging blood pressure, depending upon your activity, blah, 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 blah. High blood pressure consistently, you're losing your kidneys. Well, why wouldn't you? She's stiff, she's tight, she's sore, she's acidic and toxic. What system is that? That's the lymph system, and the lymph system uses the kidneys as its eliminative organs. Doesn't reabsorb in the venous system, guys. And you massage therapists need to change that. No matter what you're taught, sometimes you have to learn 
above what you were taught. So that's why when you go to school, take it all in stride. But get out there and learn how to look and observe and tie everything in. If you're just looking at one thing at a time, you can't see nothing and you remain ignorant. If you step back spiritually and you get beyond that mind, you're able to see the whole picture. And then you can put things together and you go, oh, look at that. But when we look at one thing at a time, we tend to use the word diseases. See what I mean? Now, a swinging blood pressure. Aha! Yeah, she's got that highlighted. Thanks, Jen. Right here, cerebellum. Right here. So she's just back. She's backing up, backing up, backing up. Well, there's nowhere else to go but here. Then comes the head pressures, the glaucomic pressures. Then here comes, you know, it goes on and on and on. As that, as that uh, paper was saying about the, um, uh, the uh, glymphatic system and that proteins that build up around the uh, neurons causes the also proteins or acids. So this is the case that she's going that way. She's getting on there. She's going to create brain lesions. Uh, I mean, she's got, she's got a lot of setup for the MS, Lou Gehrig's, or Parkinson's here when the cerebellum's involved, and she's so tired, and she can't, her adrenals are so down, they're not recharging. And up here's the pituitary. So the pituitary itself can shut down the adrenals, not just the adrenals themselves. Then she's so tight up here, guess what else can go down? The thyroid and parathyroid. So she has no thyroid power. She has no adrenal power. You see what I'm saying? Burning in he <laughs> burning in head. <laughs> I mean, this is all acidosis. <clears throat> Bad, but it's burning in the head. You know, you want to get everything opened up. As you start working on your bowels, you start working on your kidneys. And you start getting this thing, try to get a cold of food. This is when you want to use those neural lymphatic points down the back frequently. And you really want to use cold ice packs on the back of the head when you feel that. And everything you do, you want to move. You want to move to an all fruit berry. Man, but this lady is very toxic. So I don't know if she can handle that level right off. So it's probably good that she goes this 100% raw with at least a salad a day or two salads. If you're too toxic and fruit sent you too much in a detox, then do two salads a day, but always do your breakfast as fruits. I don't care what. When you get up in the morning, your lymph system is the worst because you're sedentary. That's when you have to have a fruit, berry, and melon meal at the very least. And then you can do vegetables the rest of the day. You're, going, you, they're, you're not going to be long, though. You've got to get rid of them. You've got to go to the fruits, berries, and melons because you got a head experience, and nothing ever good comes out of that one. Dizziness, that comes back to cerebellum. This goes right back to the swinging blood pressure. Same place right here. Brain fog and confusion. No kidding. Then it's me, honey, where did I park the car? And then it's going to be, what was my name? I mean, this is all comes with the same stuff. Hair loss, hair color change, da, 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 the whole nine yards. These are all not different problems. They're all hooked to the same problem, aren't they? Exactly. Same with Lou Gehrig's, the same with Parkinson's, the same with MS, the same with fibromyalgia, the same with everything you can say, the same with interstitial anything. Exhaustion even after some sleep. Well, your endocrine glands are down. Your brain is full of acidosis. Everything's shutting down, sweetheart. Severe eye issues for you. Why wouldn't you? The optic nerves wrap right around from the cerebellum right to the eye. So, and it's, uh, the whole head is burning. So, why would you not have eye problems? Blurry with floaters. No kidding. Probably a lot of mucus if you're not careful. Detached retinas and pupils and everything else. That's not good. Inflamed eyes with flashes of light and black spots, glaucoma. Well, that's that limp, that's that pressure I'm telling you back, the glaucomic pressure. Now, this lady's got a lot of lymphatic problems. Can see and feel my heart beat in my eyes. <sighs> the higher the BP, the worse it is. No kidding. BP is 120 over 85, but jumps immediately with little effort. Well, 120 is perfect. 85 is too high. So if I bring 85 down to 65, which is more perfect, that's 20 points. If I take 20 points off of 120, I'm down to 100. My guess is with this much fatigue, your thyroid's down, your adrenals, of course, are down. I'll tell you that by looking at this. Your kidneys, definitely a, a, a problem here. Feel heartbeat in the brain and throughout my body when laying down. Well, everything is just so sensitive in you, dear one, that you're feeling all this. 
uh, burning behind the eyes. That's what I'm saying. You're headed for MACD and everything else. You there? There's no question. This case has to get their butt in gear. Get on all raw at minimum, and work yourself to an all fruit berry and melon diet. I'm telling you, if you have to, you might have to switch it up to some water fasting. Uh, but you want to get a hold of those GI tract, get the GI broom, hit the two kidneys, hit the the glands. You want to aggressively go for this one. Eyes are like they are are glittery, glimming, flittering, and fluttering. Uh, get nerve pain and sensitivity behind the eyes. Eyes are so damaged I can't stand any light, even morning light. Can't read or use computer or write anymore. Well, you're probably full of radiation. Uh, took a boot. Had bronchitis and whooping cough years ago. Had uh, heavy allergies years ago to pollen and grass. Uh, was unable to go out in the sun or look at the light due to sensitivity with itching eyes, nose, and face. Still cannot look or be in any light. Oh no, it keeps going. Uh, heart problems with extreme chest pains, breathlessness, and numbness on the left side. Well, that's not real cute. Uh, that's serious. I can tell you right now, as I go along here, I want to add to these things. I would take upper circ and lower circ circulation formulas right now and stay on them for a while. Upper circ and brain and nerve. And at this pace, you're going to be plaquing cholesterol. And you've got to be careful about strokes and heart attacks here, especially if you're feeling it down this left side. I don't like how that sounds at all. So uh, that this is quite serious, in my opinion. So you want to keep the circulations formula going to keep her vascular system dilated and blood moving aggressively through her body. That's number one. At the same time, you've got to open up this kidneys. There's the kidneys are sitting there and the adrenals are sitting there as big issues to this, this lady's problems. Heart attacks that were diagnosed after the fact. Well, you know, I'm not surprised. We get what's called silent heart attacks. And, um, you know, heart palpitations with heat and sun. Uh, well, because you know why? You're so acidic that when you get, interact with something that's acidic, it sends you out the roof. The sun is acidic. The heat is acidic. So when you get heat, you'll do much better if you put down the temperature because it's alkaline. You know, you need alkalinity. And this just says another case that shows you that. We see that all the time with COPD and then your neurological cases. But it gets so acidic that they have to be cold because hot just takes all the nerve energy away and exacerbates them. You don't do cold sheet treatments on people like this. No way. Mm -mm. Uh, always numb legs, especially foot and under under legs. Well, I mean, you're probably losing your lower back. Uh, on one side, coming from my lower, coming from my lower, there, coming from my lower back. Uh, polyneuropathies. Well, I'm not surprised you're losing your nervous system everywhere, honey, and probably MS. Well, you got the setup for it, but it doesn't matter what name you give that. Throw that crap in the waste can. You're losing your nervous systems. <laughs> You're losing your nervous systems. You're losing your eye, you're losing all your tissues in your body because you're what? Way too acidic. You already know what you are, and there's only one way to stop that. Only one way. And if you're so toxic, you can only go slow. Then you've got to go slow. But you got to introduce salads, or I would probably even get rid of salads and go to green drinks, because even salads are going to innervate you a little bit because digestion takes energy. And vegetable digestion is a highly energetic waste of energy for humans when fruits and berries and melons are far superior, far more nutritive, and lend themselves energetically to our nervous system like nothing else. Piece of cake to digest. What are we doing with vegetables? I eat vegetables, but I'm just saying you feel so much better on fruit. Not always easy to maintain that. Uh, thrombosis in, le <laughs> in left leg, trouble with deep breathing, lungs burnt, and begin to cough and BP goes up, heartbeat up to 120, eating fruits and shakiness. Well, that's what I'm saying. you got to do it for, for breakfast, but you can do vet or green drinks the rest of the day if you can do that. And then again, you want to do the parsley, the cilantro, the dandelion greens, the beets, that sort of thing. But you have to go. No matter how slow, guys, no matter how slow, you got to go, because not going, this lady won't have a long life.
There's no question about it. She's going to end up in some very devastating issues. And, uh, you know, it's a lot harder. The more the burn, the harder it is to come back, dear one. And you can't let your brain sit there and burn until you don't remember who you are. So you've got to get your lymph system filtering. And you've got to do this yesterday, right? So you got to use the herbs when you can. You use your green drinks when you can. You use your fruit when you can. But you've got to keep that within that realm. You just, you have to. You know, even though you might have to work through some gnarly cold and flu-like symptoms at first, you might have to work through some, you know, some issues. You can use acupuncture, you can use some things to help you. Uh, translucent teeth, well, I'm taking your parathyroids down too, so you're losing calcium, obviously. So you're gonna, your teeth are going to get translucent, as is your what? Bones and the connective tissue loss, decaying back tooth. Root canal with placking teeth and over 20 cavities, clicking bones, <laughs> clicking bones all over, osteoporosis, arthritis, fibromyalgia, muscles are always stiff and tight. You are one big acid, dear one, you're one big acid, but these are all common symptoms, all connecting to one big system. All these symptoms are not different diseases, it's connected to one system you have down, and you've got to fix this, sweetheart, and the fibromyalgia just means you're acidic from head to toe. Uh, I'll say this, sounds like your parathyroid's down, so you got to work on your parathyroid, your thyroid, your adrenals. I take it probably your pituitary's down. You know, you got to work on these. You can use uh, glandulars or you can use just herbs. When you're down too low, I like the glandulars because they're much more energetic, they're much more now. Uh, high hemos uh, homeocysteine levels are here, full of acidosis, full of inflammation, low calcium, no kidding. In vascular walls, you're losing it to your acidosis and your body isn't putting it back, is it, honey? And that's because your parathyroid, your glands are down. Uh, you're down high cholesterol. Again, remember, cholesterol and acid. So your adrenals are down, your cholesterol's up because your body's fighting, your body's trying to win, losing all its calcium in the teeth, the bones, so you're getting probably scoliosis too, I wouldn't doubt. Uh, heavy candida, that's obvious. That's even exacerbating everything else. Vaginal and yeast infections, fungus on now. Oh, you're loaded. I can tell you, you're loaded with fungus. I live on Parasite M for a while. At the same time, you can, oh, we're just, we got two more pages, guys, of symptoms. Feel sorry for her already. No period after, for three years, your pituitary's down. You got to get your pituitary up. We'll start kicking everybody else up. And I'd use a glandular, 1 a.m., 1 p.m. I start working on my glands. Whatever you can work on, work on. And if you have to push yourself just a little bit into a detox, you might have to do that. You don't want to sit back and be afraid to detox either. So you want to push that envelope, push that envelope. Because the worst thing is if you did nothing and you ended up letting all this chew you up because there's nothing good's coming out of this case unless you fix it. This is a, uh, this is a, th there's a lot of cases out there like this lady that have multiple problems from one problem. Stress is so bad, could never leave the house much. Can't read or do any computer work, really. Sensitive, well, I'm sure you're full of radiation. Sensitivity to noise, inability to relax body, very reactive nervous system to stress, movement, and eating, especially fruit. Well, you got to go to your vegetables. You do your vegetable detox first and then hit to your fruit. The vegetables at least get you to a certain point. So you want to hit the greens. Get away from starches, get away from proteins, get away from milks, everything. Produce section only. A depression, well, it leaks right into where? The parathyroid again. Look at, look at, you know, the sad thing is Robin Williams. I really love that guy. And this is the sad thing that you see constantly. Parathyroids are down, candida's up, and these friggin' medical doctors don't know how to fix people like that, so they put them on antidepressants and then they, all, they commit suicides. It's like, what the hell's going on out here? You know, we need to have a cleaning, but of a different level, if you get where I'm going. Paranoia, paranoia, uh, noia, uh, negative entities around me. Well, you know what? You could be attracting some, some stuff like that. So you want to hold on to that golden light and become the golden light. You just exude and be the golden light of God. And then no entity can come in. And if you feel that there is one bothering you, tell it to leave. And do it with a sense of authority and power, not a sense of meekness. 
uh, been told it's uh, psychosomatic. Could be, but there are entities. Uh, highly sensitive soul. Yeah, you're a spiritual one trapped in a hell of a body. Chemically and electromagnetically sensitive, but of course, darling. Uh, collapse often from it being all too high. I can see that near-death situation, especially this last year. Past drug abuse, psychedelics, LSD, and cocaine from uh, needing to escape the pain. I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you one little bit. But, can't use them. Can't use them. If you're going to use anything, you know, you, you can't burn anything. And right now, you probably have too much neurotoxicity, but you're just one big acid, sweetheart. GI tract is backed up, no kidding. Past constipation, months without... Where's my water? Months without bowel movements. Malabsorption, I could bet on that one. Here's a junk food eating, 4,000 calories a day. Holy crap, honey. A fast food candy and dairy products. Well, no wonder you're hurting so bad, sweetheart. Not much meat eating. Gas, bloating, burning, acid reflux, diarrhea, nausea, burning stomach, gastritis. Well, you're just one big, big acid, sweetheart. That's all you are. One big acid. What system deals with the acid? As you already know, your lymphatic system's a mess. But you've been doing dairy products. Yellow hands and face. Ooh-ooh. Well, you know what? You need to get into the liver. I mean, you've got to follow that 14-week protocol at least. We have a 14-week protocol, and you've already, I know you've already been working on herbs, so you've got to go in deeper than that, I guess. Acne, of course, the skin's involved, always. Swollen lip nodes, especially under chin. Yep. I mean, your kidneys aren't filtering, no question. And when they don't filter, hell breaks loose from head to toe. Went on mostly raw vegan and got worse. Lost 40 pounds. Well, you don't get worse. I mean, but you're, you're gonna, you're not gonna, I mean, detoxing you, sweetheart, is not always gonna be fun, and you might not have fun always detoxing, but detox you must. Because there's no other, there's no other answer for you. Now, if I was you, I'd be doing a little bit of uh, baking soda without aluminum. We call it the Fast Track Alkalizer. I'd be doing about a teaspoon in a cup and maybe drink about a fourth of a cup off through the day. But you need to start bringing in alkaline chemistry aggressively in the body. Definitely, uh, I don't know what herbs. I know the Facebook people are working with you and stuff. We uh, um, needed 10 infusions to keep alive. Uh, take no medications, leaky gut, metallic taste, gastritis is better, no more constipation, on glandulars and God's herbs, yay, just slightly better since April. Questions. Can my body be regenerated? Answer. Absolutely. And don't ever think you're too far that you can't be either. You can clean every one of these symptoms up, dear one. They're just all linked to the same problem. And you can clean all these symptoms up. Sounds horrible. A medical doctor would run. But piece of cake, right guys? So, you've got to maybe use your vegetables to detox for a while, but then move yourself into a fruit detox when you can. But always do the fruit in the morning. Ride with the symptoms. Use the fruit that has the less symptoms, but you're, you're, you're not going to be a symptom-free person detoxing. You're, just, you're, you're over the top. Your cupeth is full, my dear one. And so you must get your kidneys filtering at all costs. Can I really heal my eyes completely? Absolutely. As well as my nerves, uh, circulation, lungs, heart, teeth, vitamin D, deficiency without sun, head pressure, liver, lip nodes. Let's put it this way. You better. You better. Should I go slow as I feel I have no time to go slow? Well, the slow is good. The vegetables for a little while, then kick it up. Just add more fruit, more fruit, more fruit. Move the salad meal more closer to supper and get away from the salad at lunch. And then you add more fruit and you just work yourself more that way. Uh, I tell you the truth, though. Vegetables, uh, I've, my salad would probably be more cucumbers, avocado, uh, uh, red, yellow peppers, things like that, as opposed to lettuces. Because, let me tell you, I wouldn't stress my uh, digestive tract or juice your greens. Shall I go, uh, would juice fast uh, be better? Uh, if you can, hell yeah, anything you can do. Which lymph formula should I use without filtration or body movement? Well, lymphatic one, I play with them all, but lymphatic one, lymph node two, 
and you can switch around lymph node 2 and lymph node 3 I like those two I like lymphatic 1 and then the lymphatic 5s and the lymph node 5s power hogs baby but if you're turning yellow liver gallbladder hepatic you want to, you're, you're backed up all three and that's what I've been telling you guys is a systemic issue this is a systemic issue how long can I take uh, parathyroid gland? Well, I wouldn't take it more than a couple bottles, break off. I tell you, you ought to go to the pituitary and get that going first. Hit your pituitary, then come down to thyroid, parathyroid. Always take an adrenal glandular. You need adrenal 400s. I would take that consistently right along. But your pituitary is the one that needs to be hit. You can do pituitary and parathyroid, but I don't know if I would do pituitary and thyroid. Uh, you can get your thyroid going too much. So uh, I'd probably do pituitary for one bottle, and then I'd jump down to thyroid 150s for at least a bottle or two with the parathyroids, a couple of bottles, and then uh, you can always revisit them later. Adrenals right along. How long will it take to get calcium back in the body and my bones and teeth? Hard to say. How fast can you get your kidneys filtering? How fast can you get lymph moving? Because remember this, you can't repair tissue properly in an acidic medium. That's why with Lou Gehrig's or MS or any condition, fibromyalgia, any condition, these are all acid conditions, you can't get out of, you can't repair tissue, damaged cells in an acid medium. That medium di dictates corrosiveness. You must change hydrate interstitially. And hydration interstitially means your consumption must be predominantly base. And that's found in fruits, berries, and melons and in vegetables. How long will it take? Uh, but but <clears throat> you're going to have to work on it. How do I get my vascular wall strengthened and healthy? Links with the question right above it, sweetheart. As soon as you get your body utilizing calcium, you get a lot of this acidosis out of there. The back will turn straight. The bones will rebuild. The connective tissue will be strengthened. Bones will, uh, teeth will get strong. But you got a lot of work. You got swollen lip nodes under the chin here and stuff. That means you're highly acidic in your gums. So you're just sucking the calcium out of your teeth. How, do, uh, how long uh, will it take to regenerate all genetic weaknesses? It's hard to say how weak they are. I've seen genetic rebuilding within a month, and I've seen it take uh, over a year. So it just depends. Uh, how can I get more relaxed and calm uh, down my nerves? I'd probably do the fast track alkalizer. Um, if you could get some. Uh, some uh, gunji in a uh, tincture form that might help relax you, you know, without the acid combustion. Um, can I, and I would use the nerve formulas, you know, you can use uh, valerian and some of the, uh, you know, California poppy and things like that. Uh, but I would definitely be brain and nerve two, upper circ, lower circulation, and then head off with two lymphatics, one lymph node, one lymphatic. So say lymphatic one capsules and then, uh, but we have these protocols already set up for you. Uh, can I use 14-week protocol with glandulars? Absolutely. You bet you you can, sweetheart. And uh, you really need to get on to this. This is a pretty, uh, you got a lot of things going on, sweetheart. But you can fix yourself right up, get this all cleaned out, and rebuild your body. And in fact, it uh, be interesting to see your eyes, you know, from this. But... Uh, have fun and don't despair and realize you've got a lot of friends helping you to get yourself out of this. But push yourself deeper into the world of detox, I would. That's for sure. Uh, all right, this is uh, Dr. Morris. Would you consider doing a video especially on ALS? Oh, I just did. Oh, yeah, look at that. I just did. There's a lot of hype going around about how people need to raise awareness about it and raise money for research. I know, but it really is just a curable. Yeah, exactly. You're right on. Thanks, PPWT Films. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's part of the problem is that uh, here's another disease they can collect a lot of money for. Uh, I mean, it's just it's just unbelievable. And uh, everything is very curable, guys. But you must fix the causative problems. And how simple is this? You know, man was not... You don't see uh, uh, doctor's offices in, in, in your animal kingdoms and things like this. They intuitively know what to eat. They intuitively know how to fix themselves. They intuitively know what herbs they need. I watch my little dog all the time intuitively go to different greens. Depends what she wants to do with herself. Amazing. We've lost our intuitiveness because of the mind. 
we sacrificed our higher intuitiveness and consciousness for thought. And so because we praise the mind so much, we praise the darkness. The mind is creation. There's nothing wrong with th thinking and thoughts and the mental capacity of creation if you're in control of it. Man lives with the mind in control of himself. Mind controls soul here more than soul controls mind, and you must switch that around, or you will be a slave to diseases and things like allopathic thinking, which is ridiculous, things like that. Uh, hello, uh, I am a 40-year-old female with polycystic kidney disease. Look at all the kidney problems. See this? And that just simply means your kidneys aren't filtering its own self. I have been following the GAPS diet, which has been helping. I don't know what that is. GAPS diet. I would be most grateful if you would help me identify with cellular botanical products or products I should go on. Well, I would do this, Christine. I would definitely get on fruits, berries, and melons. There is nothing better for your kidneys and for tumors and cysts than fruits, berries, and melons. You're at the top of the class. Absolutely. Water fasting also good for tumors and cysts. All right. I would do kidney number one uh, uh, capsules and kidney number two uh, tincture for about a couple of months and then I would jump over and I would do kidney number three uh, capsules and kidney number four tincture and then uh, come back and, and follow those. At the same time, I'm going to do a lymphatic formula. I want my, my cysts out. So I want a lymphatic because that's the problem. And this is, this is your eliminative organ for that. And you're in trouble with your eliminative organ. My guess is you're not filtering well the rest of your body either. So, sweetheart, you've got you to get your kidneys filtering. Look at your urine. Look for the sediment in the urine. You know, look for this. Get your get your kidneys filtering. Get on those fruits, berries, and melons, particularly grapes. Those things that really clean the kidneys. You know, beets. If you're going for some greens, then you're going to do the dandelion green, the parsley, and the beet beet bulbs and beet tops. Really cleanser for the kidneys, big time. At the same time, you want to clean the rest of your body up and fix the adrenal glands on top. So you either do adrenal glandular or adrenal herbal, and. Uh, uh, detoxify your body, sweetheart, and get that out of there because you don't want to lose your kidneys. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, here's a question. Uh, uh, would a three-day water fast be helpful for hemorrhoids? Yeah, I think it would be. I think it would be. But check your parathyroid gland and calcium utilization for hemorrhoids. No different than any other vascular wall weakness. So you want to make sure you're utilizing calcium and strengthen the vascular walls. Lower circulation would be good for that as well. And you could use, uh, we did have a prolapsed organ or a strengthening organ, but a bones formula would be good to help strengthen that vascular wall. So lower circ, uh, bones, uh, get your parathyroid up and going, uh, and uh, detox your, your body. Get your kidneys filtering, get your bowels cleaned up and everything else. But uh, it would definitely be helpful. Uh, I really did a seven-day watermelon fast, and when I gradually went back to solid raw food, it happened. Help. Now, let's talk about that a minute. I just want to see. Hey, Drew? Let me uh, get in here. It's a little something. I don't know how I do this. Hey, uh, Chris? Hey, Jen B., are you there? She is on the phone at her desk. Oh, oh, oh. Could you have Drew or someone bring me in a water? I've got a, a bottle of water in the refrigerator. Okay. Could I have him on? Thank you, dear. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I want to talk about this because we recently had a lady call up here and just went off on us real bad. She uh, went on a fruit, she went on a grape fast. And she started getting diarrhea from it. Well, that's possible because when you go on fruit sometimes, it's real cleansing. And it can be purging for those of you. For me, fruit makes the best bowel movements ever. But for some people that are very acidic and very toxic, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, thank you, thank you, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Thank you, sweetheart. Thanks again. So it can make your bowels move more frequent. And so she didn't call anybody about the, the diarrhea. 
And she calls up here going off that she's got bleeding. She's bleeding now. It's pouring out of her. And when it's bright red blood, you know it's a hemorrhoid. And of course, she said she didn't have any hemorrhoids. She didn't tell the truth because we pulled her chart and she said hemorrhoids getting better. <laughs> but she said she didn't have hemorrhoids. But they're always hemorrhoids when it's bright red, the darker the blood, the further up in the colon that it is. So I told her it's probably a fissure, probably have a hemorrhoids or it's probably up in there. If, and she's had black stools for a week. Now, you're going to have black stools if you eat dark grapes, but you're also going to have black stools if you're cleaning this mucoid plaque out of you. This plaque that builds up on the wall can come out black. And as a rule, almost everybody sees some degree of black plaque coming out of them. They call it mucoid plaque. Medical doctors that see that when they do colonoscopies, they say that you've been using herbs. People have been, not been using herbs and they get black in their colon. Matter of fact, I think you class people have seen Dr. Jensen's colonoscopy endoscopy and how black his bowels were until he started using herbs. And then it cleaned him right up. We have a before and after. So she called up and she, she just Gabe, oh hell, oh, she wanted her money back, she's doing everything back. I'm going, what? I mean, this lady's way out of balance, emotionally and everything else. When you see someone like that, they have a fear of death and a fear of being alone. And these are the people that need to take time and get into themselves and lose this fear of death. So I told her, I said, go to the ER and get yourself checked up if you have to. I called her and, and asked her, what's going on? You know, what, what's, what's the, all, all the fuss about? And it was starting to starting to stop bleeding, but I said, go, go have yourself checked because, you know, it just sounds like a hemorrhoid to me. And of course, my significant other is a nurse. And uh, yes, it, it's a hemorrhoid. So she went to her medical doctor and of course he said it's a hemorrhoid. And then she called back apologizing him because she just totally left the universe on us. And so you have to realize that you're going to have clients like that. They're going to go off on you for no reason. And they don't always tell you the truth, and they don't always tell you when they start to have problems, like having diarrhea too much. But to fix hemorrhoids, this is a weakness in the wall, and you must start strengthening connective tissue in your body. When you go on raw, I had hemorrhoids starting out because I lived on milk, and I don't know how many days, because I was young, no one thought of pooping, especially when you're a kid, that's something you don't want to know about. And I probably went weeks or days at least without poop, but I still remember my mom giving me enemas. And it's like, you know, I mean, it's a nightmare. But when I did poop, I would rip and bleed because, it, it, uh, it, you know, milk is constipating like a rock. Oh, but it's one of the five basic food groups. You should have milk in your diet. People are friggin' nuts out there. No, it, it's just that it, it's a society gone mad. And if you don't live with truth, no matter what level of government or what level uh, 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 of whatever, you're going to go wrong. You're going to go down. So you always want to strengthen in a hemorrhoid situation. Lower circ, parathyroid, those sort of things to strengthen that uh, wall. You could use a little bit of tea like Hill All Tea and things like that or use Preparation H. I don't care. It's enough to say clean and strengthen is how you win the game with hemorrhoids. But when you go on raw, when I went on raw, they came out with a vengeance. But I was warned by others who had done that. So I expected that to happen. I think even Arnold Eric talks about it, if I'm not mistaken. So it's something we expect, you know. And sometimes we can't write everything up or, or, or inform you about every symptom you, you could have because there's, there's, there's many of them. So we feel, and I feel, that everyone that wants to get well, educate yourself. We've got so many educating videos. I've written several papers on this. There's several good books out there. It might not be at our level, but there's some good books in the Natural Hygienic books, Arnold Errett books, N.W. Walker. There's, uh, there's so many greats from the past that have written fantastic books on raw. So it's just getting up there and learning about detoxification and don't freak out. Your body's going to go through some ups and downs, particularly this first case we read where she's, she's going to have some ups and downs. Well, she might be visiting the ER once or twice. Okay, so what? 
with a, you know, ERs can stabilize. But I've sent people to the ER, they couldn't find a thing during healing crisis. And I've had that happen two or three times. Just to make sure safety, you know, you know a good practitioner always is concerned for their clients. It's a client that made the condition, not the practitioner. I didn't make these people's hemorrhoids or anything else. We all make our own worlds. But we're here to help you fix them, just like we're helping ourselves fix ourselves. And that's what love is about, divine love. It's about seeing us all as one. So we help each other, right? Right. So, sweetheart, work on your hemorrhoids, but lower circ, uh, work on the bones and the, uh, and the uh, parathyroid formula. But get your kidneys filtering everything else we know to be true here. Oh, oh wow, look at this. Uh, K-I-N-A. Kina? Kina? Uh, Christina. Thanks, sweetheart, for that. I appreciate that because we noticed that they weren't being viewed as much as the other videos and we just thought it was a little overwhelming. I had no choice. You know, I, I needed to, to get out these questions that you guys, and I'm still backed up considerably. And you can see it takes time to answer a question. I can't just go blip, 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 and you just, just jumping like that. I, I don't think that would be nice. So it does take me a while to answer them. So I appreciate this, Christina. Thank you for the long videos. <laughs> they are most welcome, and it's always a pleasure to be educated. I love you, dear one. Thank you so much. I don't know which to do. I'm just, I'm just trying to bang them out, you know, get them out so I can get this information to you because I just, you know, some of you are in pretty bad straits. And I'm just trying to get this out as fast as we can. But we say this and every time. If you are suffering and you have a serious problem, you call in here. Or you get to the Facebook and have somebody help you. You don't sit there and live with it until I answer your question. Because this could get tied up. It could get lost under another paper. I can grab this instead of this. Oh, thank you. I look wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah. I'm working on it. <laughs> I was fit doing some fencing. I, I like physical labor. I was born that way, working on farms and stuff. So I was building wood fencing and stuff. And this bee came up and landed right on my cheek and started to bite me. Well, I'm going to slap it, right? Well, I've got a, saw, a power saw in this hand and a hammer in this hand. Luckily, I slapped it with the hammer hand. But guess what hit me in the eye? The hammer. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to make sure I was awake. Now, what's this? Oh, here it is. Would you talk about, oh, detoxing, passing a kidney stone. Would you talk about this a bit, please? The passing of kidney stone symptoms. Where does it hurt? How exactly does it come out? Does it uh, dissipate in the ureters? How do you detox this, herbs, etc.? Oh, okay. First of all, kidney stones are not fun. Uh, they're paid for for men and women, but for men, if it if it if it resonates down, spasms down to the testicles, you might as well hit them upside the testicle with a baseball bat because you wouldn't feel it. It's that painful. Uh, this stone of mine uh, hit my kidney. My kidney was cramping real bad, extreme pain. It didn't get down into the testicle like the other ones that I've had. And so uh, I immediately go on straight juice. I went on straight uh, uh, watermelon and uh, uh, orange juice. And I always go on straight juices because this starts to dissolve the stones up. I did my magnesium, uh, uh, 500 milligrams every two hours and B6 every hour, uh, 200 milligrams of B6. Helped to break it down a little. It didn't dissolve it like I was hoping it would. And then it just came down through the ur ureters and then down... Um, uh, into the bladder, and it had a hard time getting out of my bladder because I had a little inflammation there because of all the, the tea I'd been drinking. And I've been off of tea for, what, three, four months now, guys. You didn't notice. So it uh, helped me a lot, you know. Uh, I decided that uh, addiction to something had to end. <laughs> but, uh, you know, flushing your kidneys out, uh, using the kidney formulas. Uh, I use uh, any kidney formula will do. I like kidney number one's my favorite, but kidney number two. Um, I used all those. And I just uh, sit there and passed it. You know, and it worked itself out. It took a couple of weeks. But um, then you sit there and let it come out. You want to dissolve it because if it's over three millimeters, you're going to really rip and tear. 
uh, tough stuff, you know. Kidney stones are not fun, but you want to immediately go on fruit juices because then it'll start dissolving these stones and breaking them apart. At the same time, you want to get, you know, we'll use the herbs of detox. You can even use the lymphatic herbs if you want. There are herbs for stones breaking up, but I haven't seen them to be overly effective. Gravel root is one of them, but I don't know where I am with gravel root. I don't know. You know, sometimes when I use gravel root, I feel like it's too much. It blocks filtration or something. So I don't know yet. I don't know where I am with gravel root. Anybody had any experience with gravel root, good or bad, let me know. I have a question concerning my mom. If you don't mind, I do not mind. My mom has had her gallbladder removed years ago because of stones. How easy it is to clean out gallbladders with stones. We have so many people call in here ready for gallbladder surgery and never go because it's easy to clean out the liver with gallbladder and liver of stones. But remember, interstitial work of liver and gallbladder must be done. You must detoxify the GI tract, the liver gallbladder, the pancreas, and that occurs when? When you get your kidneys filtering. Uh, I don't know uh, you that time. Oh, I didn't know you at that time, or I would have protected. Yes, it's easy to save the gallbladder of stones. She is overweight, aches a lot. Well, overweight, you know, she's fighting her adrenals and kidneys. So, you know, if she eats starch, she's going to gain weight, blah, 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 blah. That goes to the aching a lot in the muscles because that backs up the lymphatic system. You remember our, our discussion on that with the kidneys controlling the lymphatic system. Um, has skin rashes, of course, because she's not filtering wear from the kidneys. Your skin is wearing the burden. That's why the rash is on the skin. Remember the skin being the third kidney. Uh, what she calls reactions, itching and skin red eruptions. Well, she's just seeing her lymph system, uh, literally. But what she's not seeing is the buildup inside of her of these acids and lymph. She says she has burps that come from the thyroid through her mouth. Hmm. Never heard of that. And not from her stomach area. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Is she a mouth breather? Uh, and this since, lo uh, since long before removing her gallbladder. Burps from the thyroid. Hmm. But I can't say. Can't say that I know what that is. How you're getting air up in there? Her left leg is getting swollen. Uh uh. See, that's a sign she's now moving more into kidney failure. And again, that's left kidney, left leg swelling. Uh, so her left leg is getting swollen, a fat from bottom to top, and it's starting to be visible in her ankle. Uh uh. She's going into kidney failure. Uh, and I bet if you pull the blood work up on her, you're going to see now see her in high creatinine levels. Her movements are difficult. She says it's genetic from her parents and that she thinks it's related to her heart. Uh, you know, your mom needs to just simply learn. Go after the kidneys, get them filtering the adrenals, just like you know. Sit her down, let her review a video. Let her review the video on Lou Gehrig's. So I went a little bit more involved in that. So it'll help her to understand her lymph system and acidosis and what all this means to her. Because if she doesn't fix it, life is not good. Left side, left side is the heart side. Just saying. Okay? Uh... She, and there is no genetics, I mean, I, I, you know, you, you're, you, can be kind, you can develop a genetically weak heart, cellularly speaking, but you gotta, you got to look at your eyes and determine all of that. And, and, and I, I'm telling her she probably had genetic kidneys and adrenals for sure. She uh, thankfully still has her tonsils, and she says they have always been uncomfortable, painful sometimes, and that she, well, she's backed up lymphatically. Uh, her nose is dried, and there is blood sometimes, dehydration. Boy, you guys are smart. Oh, oh, oh I love you guys. Uh, and her ears are aching and constantly needs to be cleaned. Mm-hmm. Ear candleum. But this is the sewage building up all the way up in her head now. All movements as she feels pain from her uh, jaw to her inner ear. Well, you know. And she's going to lose calcium. It just goes down that, that road that we all know that goes down. You know, as your lymph system backs up, and that's why... On each video, I don't go in, and each case that I'm reading, I don't go in and talk about, you know, how the lymph system works and the filtration of the kidneys and the acids too much because it's a redundant. 
It's, it would take me uh, even longer to go through each case. So it's enough to say that each case that we go after, uh, we're talking about the lymph system, the kidneys, the, the Lou Gehrig's case, uh, uh, video would be good to review on that one, or the, the video on the lymphatic system, vital to understand that system. She also thinks her liver is swollen well. No kidding, she's had gallstones. And so, realize the liver's in trouble just as much as the gallbladder and probably has stones in it. So, she probably should do a liver gallbladder flush. But I would get her kidneys filtering first, get on some of that fast food liquid to help push any stones out, but clean her up that way. Get her liver cleaned up and do a liver gallbladder flush then. I do the liver gallbladder formula for a month and just kind of detox her for two or three weeks or a month and then do a liver gallbladder flush. She all, uh, or bigger and feels she needs to address all this. Well, you can't address any of this medically, or you might as well forget longevity. One of her kidneys is prolapsed. Let's see what I'm saying. One of her kidneys is prolapsed, and she says this is from a long time ago. It seems that kidneys flips 180 degrees, if I understand correctly. I don't know what to say about that. Tendons, muscles, and all that get weak. Connective tissue gets weak with the loss of calcium to acids. Uh, blah, 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 blah. She has good genes. She could have a weak parathyroid, too. She has good genes. I know this because you told me I had good genes after reading my eyes. Oh, good. She used to smoke, but stopped a long time ago. Can you guide me on how to help her? Much loves and uh, astral hugs all the way. You got it, baby. Definitely, Christina. Thank you so much, honey. Well, you know what? Get, put her on the 14-week, make it simple on yourself, put her on the 14-week protocol. Observe all the herbs we're using for that 14-week protocol, and you'll know immediately what our thinking is. So the first kid is one kidney, one lymphatic, one liver gallbladder. See why I'm going always after the liver gallbladder? Because almost everybody has something going on there. And those herbs are also good for the pancreas, so it's a win-win-win, right? And, of course, I've got uh, endocrine gland herbs for all the endocrine glands. There are actually two kidney formulas in the, in the kit now. And uh, two parasitic formulas. And a GI tract formula. See where I'm going with that? I'm going to kill the parasites out of my clients first. Get rid of deworm everybody first off. That's why the first kit. you got two kidney formulas and one lymphatic. So you're hitting the kidneys a little harder than the lymph system. That's smart initially. Then you've got uh, the glands which turn on everything. Really, I'd like to have an adrenal gland right there too, really. But not to overburden anybody you know, just to get everybody started. And then uh, the GI tract, you got to clean up the GI tract. So I've got that going. Then after that's done, now we go a little more aggressive. We keep with the two kidney formulas. You can change them up if you will. We add another lymph, lymph node formula. So now we're getting two lymphatic formulas, two kidney formulas. Now I'm going to the adrenal glandular as a rule. If no glandular, go to the adrenal herbals. And if you need to, you're going to go to the parathyroid, you're going to go with it with a glandular or the pituitary or where else you need to go, go with that. I'm, I'm also going to go after brain and nerve. I like that because it enhances the nervous system, which will then enhance movement of things. Uh, uh, if I uh, need to grab anything else, I will, but I'm always going to go the GI tract, liver gallbladder again. I'm going to go for a month and a half, two months on a liver gallbladder formula. I'm going to go on a kidney lymphatic formulas right on through until you're done with wh however far you want to go. I'm going to go with the endocrine gland as far as I'm, I can take you. Uh, I'm going to keep a parasite in for a, maybe a month or two. Depends how bad the, the fungus is and how, how bad they are. If you did see worms initially coming out of someone or flukes, I'd repeat Parasite M again at least once or twice. That sort of thing. At the same time, I'm going to change that diet to 100% raw if I can get it. The bigger the person, you might have to add some cooked vegetables in there just to give them some sense of balance because the bigger, the more emotionally distraught and everything. If you have an emotionally distraught person, you want to throw a little in there, a little emotional uh, food to make them feel good because this is tough. You're asking someone that does not in tune with themselves to become in tune with themselves. Very difficult, like this lady freaking out. She needs to get in tune with herself. She, she says the fear of death. So any little thing, oh my God, 
They're like, oh, you can't live in a world like that or your life isn't very happy. So uh, you've got to get strong within yourself. Never fear death because this is just a shell. This is, this is a car you're turning back into the dealer. You're done with it. So never fear death. If you fear anything, fear life on this planet unconsciously or fear unconsciousness if you have to fear anything. <laughs> okay, so I hope that helps you, dear one, and uh, take yourself right on down the road there. Hmm. This is to Drew. I was diagnosed with a fatty liver. Well, let's stop right there. What is lipids? If you find it interesting that your lipids that you eat are absorbed into the lymphatic system, not the blood. Understanding that blood pH and viscosity must be of a nature that it keeps it predominantly alkaline and the viscosity moving. So blood doesn't get too thick, too thin, too stagnant. So when you really look at that and you really are a blood thinker, then you should be a diet thinker. Because the diet that the American Dietetics Association or the allopathic community recommends is not maintaining healthy blood. Eating dead animals does not maintain healthy blood. It's putrefactive. It taints the blood. Its chemistry is one-sided. Low in electrolytes, high in acids, high in phosphorus, high in nitrogen. That's, that's oxymoron. That, that's totally antagonistic to how nature has fruits, berries, melons, and vegetables in their chemical ratios. We build flesh from vegetables and fruits and berries and melons. You got to go to the original food, not the byproduct. So fatty liver comes in when the lymph system in its wall isn't being filtered out properly. Well, if you're having a fatty liver, guess what is happening to the wall of your pancreas, the wall of the bowels, the wall of your kidneys? Just like that, the wall of the stomach. When you're backed up interstitially around the cells in the wall of the liver, that's where your fatty acids are, you're backed up all through you to some degree. Your weaker genetic areas, you're always backed up more. So if your liver genetically weaker, then you're going to have more lymph problems in there than you are in your stronger areas. Jensen talked a lot about that, remember? So, first order of the day, you go back, you get your kidneys filtering. In other words, to fix any, any condition whatsoever, you must start to get your kidneys filtering, get your adrenals up, get your bowels cleaned out. You see where I'm going here? You must get your lymph moving. You don't get your lymph moving and hydrated interstitially, good catch, uh, you're, you're going nowhere. That's the problem. And you can be sitting there eating raw going, why ain't I getting any better? I'm eating raw. See what I'm saying? That's why I love our herbs. Not our herbs, God's herbs. Herbs. Uh, a few years ago, let's see, I was diagnosed with a fatty liver a few years ago, and I have been told I need to do a cleanse on my lymphatic system before doing cleanse for the liver. And not necessarily, but I'll say this it would be better if you got your lymph system moving and a little bit down the road, just like I've talked on the last case, and wait before I did a liver gallbladder flush. Uh, you had a lot of inflammation in the liver. Doing a liver gallbladder flush is not wise right off, because remember that spas a liver gallbladder flush is spasming the liver gallbladder. In a highly inflamed liver gallbladder, which is what a fatty liver is, you don't want to be, you know, squeezing it, uh, 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 causing spasms in there. Uh, so I would detox. I'd get my kidneys and everything in order and start detoxing, do the liver gallbladder formula, and just start detoxing. Everything will come out. The lipids will come break down and come out. They take a little while, but they'll come out and come out because they're protective. They're trying to protect the liver tissue from acids. And this is all, this is, you can get a fatty everything, fatty brain, fatty heart, fatty lungs, fatty liver, fatty kidneys, fatty everything. You can get, you know, lipomas. You can get fatty everywhere. The more acidic, the more lipid packing you're going you're gonna to run into. I've also more recently been diagnosed with leaky gut and told I didn't absorb vitamins, nutrients, and proteins correctly. I'll say this. I don't like the word leaky gut at all. I think it's a misrepresentation of reality. I do say, though, that if you're...
system's backed up in the liver, causing fatty liver. Where else is it backed up? In the wall of the small bones, bowels, in the wall of the large bowels or intestines, in the wall of the stomach, in the wall of the esophagus, in the wall of the thyroid, in the wall. See where I'm going with that? Exactly. So you want to back up and start detoxifying yourself. You know, that's, that's the key here. Uh, I have lived in a state of chronic exhaustion. Well, that's a one big clue, isn't it? A chronic exhaustion is chronic adrenals. A chronic adrenal means no kidney filtration, doesn't it? Pretty much. Pretty much. So you can tell you're having lymphatic problems because you're having adrenal problems. And that, of course, yields kidney problems. And that, of course, then yields systemic acidosis, blah, 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 blah. No energy for years. Been told my adrenals are probably shot. There we go. Uh, I take adrenal daily to function, and it works great. Well, I do the adrenal 400s one, three times a day. At the same time, I start getting my, my kidney formulas, getting my kidneys to filter. I take a look at your basal temperatures, your thyroids, your parathyroid. Start looking at everything. Start detoxifying yourself, getting your body hydrated and all this sort of thing. Fruits, berries, and melons. The least vegetables, the better. Unfortunately, I'm also a smoker uh, and have been for 35 years. I quit twice for two years each time. Well, you know what? Just get happy with yourself. Get happy with yourself. Always try to do the least you can. Be happy with yourself. Get strong with yourself. Lock yourself in a house. No cigarettes, no TV, no radio. And sit down and give yourself a big hug and spend time with yourself. Oh, I'm not so bad. I'm okay. I don't need to do anything to make myself happy because I'm happy just being me. Because I'm okay. I don't care what anybody else thinks about me. Who cares what anybody else thinks about you? But get, pull yourself into balance and spirituality, though. Because if not, then you, you warp, warpedize yourself, so to speak. You start getting emotionally and mentally out of control. Some people are just, they're a wreck. They're a wreck emotionally and mentally. Well, if you don't sit down and take the time, get away from all this TV and radio and all this stuff, and sit down and, and love yourself for a little while, you're not. And our society has always loves to pull your attention away from yourself. That's the trick to controlling you. If I can take your attention and use it, then I've got you. Well, we don't. If you understood the karma of that, you don't want anybody's else attention. You want everybody to have their own self awareness. Uh, I have a productive uh, cough now. Good deal. That's what you want is a productive cough. Uh, that means you're hydrating. You're loosening things up there. That's good. Also have chronic neck shoulder pain due to a car wreck. Well, listen, you can have a car wreck. You're going to have trauma to tissue, but it's supposed to heal. If you keep blaming the car wreck, then you never get well. Because the car wreck was only the instigator of what already is happening is your lymph system isn't moving. So your lymph system wasn't able to fix the trauma from the car accident and you're stiff and tight. Open up your kidney flow, your fatty liver will come out, everything will come out, the stiff and tight will come out, and any, any tissue that needs to repair will repair. But you're stiff and tight because you can't repair yourself from the trauma. You're not filtering your lymph system. Do those neural lymphatic points down your back. Uh, she's lost the curve in the neck and degenerative disc. Well, that's all acidosis, not from the accident. Remember, that's, that's only just a little instigator. It's from your inability to clean and move lymph properly. That's the causative factor of that. And that goes back to kidneys, adrenals. Remember, you're fatigued already. You got a fatty liver. All this is just a sign of acidosis in the human body. Location, location, location. I also hold all my stress there. I don't know which of your products to take or in other order. Please advise. Get on the uh, the 14 week protocol. I designed that protocol for non thinking. Just get on it. All the instructions. You get a nice book. Everything is cool. And then your diet is obvious. And then you got all the Facebook people to help you. You got the clinic to help you, and you'll be good to go. Well, let me see here if I got this one other thing here. Uh, let me see here. I don't know how much. I'm going to have to see how much 
I'm supposed to share this. Uh, I'm going to have to read this uh, and find out if I, I have to use your name or whatever. I mean, not use your name. Not a member here. Hi there. Let me see. For your YouTube. Okay, here's one for the YouTube. I don't, you know, again, I don't know whether to mention any names or not. I'll call this uh, uh, Member A. I called in last week regarding getting some recommendations about how to best proceed with detoxing. In the meantime, while I wait for a call back, I thought I'd add some additional details should they prove useful for when we speak. Wow, you better have got a call back by, this is August 10th, so you better have a call back by now. Historical info. Been feeling like crap since 2008. Tried lots of stuff including suicide. Well, that's, that's not good. Uh, tried all the time, tired all the time, no sex drive, depression, anxiety, sleeplessness, chest tightness, and lately skin rashes and a worrisome brain fog. Is this the one I just read? I don't know if this is the one I just read or not. We'll go on and look at this, though. But you see how everything's kind of the same with everybody? Because our bodies are basically the same. Our genetic weaknesses are weaker, so we have one tissue put their head up a little quicker than other ones. But outside of that, you know, we're pretty much the same. Now, so let's stop there. The skin rashes are the first clue that your lymph system's really backed up and you're not filtering. It also could be a clue your thyroid is down a little bit. Because generally, if you don't sweat well, your vapors don't uh, come out well. Because remember, this is more gaseous elimination. Uh, so uh, that that right there is uh, telling you your, your your lymph system's backed up. Tired all the time, you go to the adrenals first. That's obvious. Well, as soon as you go to the adrenals, you know, uh-oh, they sit on top of the kidneys. Uh-oh, they control the lymph system. Uh-oh, that must be why, you know, I'm stiff and things like that. I'm sore and I don't feel good. Uh, uh, of course, the adrenals are down, so you know that's emotionally down. If your parathyroid's down, and you have mentioned depression, so if your parathyroid's down, then you don't love yourself very much because you're always depressed and not happy. So you got to fix your parathyroid and thyroid. They seem to be down here as well, which means the pituitary could be down. You get your eyes and check that. Check your colon there. Uh, so low sex drive, so her glands are all down to the depression, anxiety, or parathyroid's down, the adrenals are down, sleeplessness, her pineal is down. So you can use a pineal uh, glandular, take one to two caps, uh, one to two hours BS before sleep. Now, it's suggesting that your lymph system is all backed up in your head. And that means that it's all backed up with everything down below. So you want to get in that detox and get on that 14-week protocol and get yourself moving. moving. Things that have offered some relief. Structured water. Whatever you mean by that, all I can tell you is be cautionary with the water. Get natural spring water. Forget men messing with water and it's, it's micron levels and everything else. You'll get into hurting yourself. Don't let them mess with pHs. You don't want over an 8 pH water. I don't care what they tell you. We're getting in alkalosis now because of that. No, no, no. Uh, coconut oil, that'd be good with colloidal silver. Go to Parasite M instead of colloidal silver, please. You're bringing silver t up too much, and that's a big no-no. Remember the guy that turned blue? Don't mess with metals as you would herbs. Use your herbs instead of metals because this is going to throw your chemistry out of balance. Love the coconut oil, though. Um... Uh, uh, okay, so she's using the monoatomic gold, the white gold, so to speak. And when I was addressing that question, I didn't bring up white gold, but I have never tried white gold. But I'm real cautionary with metals when you're bringing them out of context of proper ratios to the other metals. Because whenever you bring chemistry out of ratio, you become, you're creating antagonistic chemistry. Only you guys doing hair analysis and reading lab results are going to learn this. That 
We're, learning, we're creating antagonistic chemistry by using chemistry to try to get well. You can use chemistry to get well, but that chemistry must be whole and energized, as in your fruits, your berries, your melons, and your herbs. If we go out and violate these structures for the sake of isolates, we're not only using the ego to try to figure out how we're treating our problems, We've missed the whole, whole understanding of nature and how it works and how the body works. So don't, don't go to isolates or monoatomic. These things are, you know, when you're using isolates to that, that you're going to unbalance your body's chemistry. A uh, monoatomic goal has helped sometimes a lot, sometimes not as much with brain fog. Started taking turmeric extracts. Now that's a little better. I'm not sure of efficiency yet. A THCA for uh, anti-anxiety and sometimes topical for skin conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, melatonin for sleep. Mm -mm. You want to use pineal glandular. Get rid of the melatonin. You'll get yourself in trouble. 5-HTP and the cyamide for mood. Too early to tell for this. Uh -uh. Brain and nerve 2, upper cirque. Adrenal uh, glandular 400s. One, three times a day would be what I would do. Perk up my pituitary so you perk up all the other endocrine glands or go to on the endocrine gland. Herbal formula would be good. Get my kidneys filtered. Get my lymph moving. Get on those sweet tasting fruits where you can start feeling good again. What I've done since starting to learn about acidosis in the lymph system, uh, eating primarily tomatoes, grapes, uh, carrots, and ginger juices. Let's get rid of the tomato juice. Let's get rid of the carrot juice. Let's go to the grapes. Let's go apple juice. You can add some ginger in the juices if you want, but get rid of tomato juice. It's acidic. Uh, get rid of carrot juice. Too starchy. Uh, get up into your higher fruit juices and you'll feel a lot better. If you want to go on some greens, parsley, dandelion, can add cilantro, beet, beet top, spinach, add some celery and cucumber for some better tasting. Started loading, logging my BP, pH, urine color, sediment, eye, tongue and stool picks. You guys are really getting into your health. I love that. Good job. Reduce chia seed intake. Good deal. Uh, you got to get away from proteins. You just got to get away from proteins for a while, get all the proteins and acids out of the body, and then go back in moderation. Some log values to note. Uh, this is on the 9th. The pH is 5.65. No urine sediment. Uh, blood pressure is a systolic 115 over 75, pulse 58. The pulse is okay. Uh, systolic 115, too low with the diastolic of 75, meaning you're probably closer to 110 or so. With that, if you have to, if your systolic is pretty much 115 or above, the diastolic could be a little better. Uh, you could have high fungal problems then. Uh, Blood pressure reading 2, 111 over 75. Blood pressure is 108 over 78. Uh, B, uh, your pH was 6.28. A little bit of sediment. Blood pressure was 130 over 88. Must have something got you turned on that day. 130 over 88, that's way too high. Didn't you add a 121 over 86? I mean, you could have inflammation in the cerebellum where you see yourself flipping. Here's another 118 to over 85. Definitely dealing in kidneys and adrenals here, no question about that. I was also keen to start taking enzymes. No! And I'll tell you a big fat no. Unless you want to wreck your adrenal, uh, your pancreas, and then you're going to take uh, hydrochloric acid? I don't think so. You're mixing hydrochloric acid with your other enzymes? No way. Each neutralizes each other. And super enzymes by now. However, I haven't started taking them. Good. Because what we're getting in here is people that, it, it, remember, the pancreas is an endocrine gland. This is so repetitive. Don't take hormone steroids, neurotransmitters, digestive enzymes. You'll wreck your pancreas. Fix your pancreas. Start going to easy to digest foods. Take the pancreatic formula. Two, three times a day would be good. Clean your kidneys. Clean your lymph. Get yourself on and you will have problems digesting nothing. Uh, so I guess my first question would be suggesting the enzymes. Let me tell you a flat no. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I'm going to cut off. I don't want this video too long. And it's 3 o'clock and I have to go. 
I love you guys. I might be a little tough on some of you, but, you know, I love you guys. And keep remembering your spirituality and working in the now. Get control of your mind and your emotions. You know, you're, you're on a tough, you know, when you have the where for all and, and, the, and the awareness to help yourself, that's a mark of, a, of your awakening process. And I admire every one of you that want to take care of yourselves. This idea of depending upon medical doctors that don't have any idea about health is dangerous and has led plenty of people into their graves. Stop the insanity and get yourself awake and learn the simplicity of life and the beauty of life and how powerful of a being you are. And love yourself. Give yourself a hug. You're okay. You're quite fine in my book. So love yourself. Smell some flowers. Enjoy life for yourself, not through others, through your own consciousness and your own beingness. And then have your friends. Love you all. May the blessings be.